In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the different views that we can use to assess the biceps insertion at the elbow. The first one we're going to come to is our anterior view, or using our pronator teres window to assess the insertion of the biceps brachii. This is probably the most useful view that we have and gives us our most diagnostic information. What we're going to do is come short axis down the arm, follow the biceps of a musculotendinous junction, follow it down as it forms its common tendon in through here to come down and insert in onto the radial tuberosity in through here. To get this window we need to have our probe quite medial on the patient's forearm and be looking through pronator teres. We're turning longitudinal here to assess the tendon. Here we have pronator teres as our window that we're shooting through and we can see the tendon nicely. We'll go back to short axis. Here's our neurovascular bundle, our median nerve, artery, and here is our tendon turn longitudinal again, shooting through pronator teres to see the tendon nicely. <coughs> to improve our view, we're going to bend the patient's elbow up. We're going to add a little bit of active flexion. This puts our, our tendon a little bit flatter on the screen and puts it on a bit more tone. Then what we're going to do is really dig the thumb end of our probe in through here, dig the distal end in to heel toe and get that tendon nice and flat. And then we can start to differentiate the two heads of biceps. We can sit up the top and see our short head that plugs in here and fan towards the table, towards the floor. And we can see the long head of biceps as it plugs in through here. So long head has this big suckle-like appearance. Where's our short head sitting up the top, just bolts straight on. So short head sitting up in through here with its different in thesis foot plate. We'll turn short axis. You can appreciate both these tendons in short axis as well. We'll go back to our musculotendinous junction as they wrap around each other, come down in through here. And we can appreciate the tendon more medial is our long head. The tendon more lateral is our short head. So our tendon looks like this dumbbell figure eight type shape. Long head and short head. We can identify those two heads. Now we're going to have a look at using our lateral window, where we get this kind of roll technique as it's sometimes described. Here we're going to have patients with arm bent at about 90 degrees, come down through their muscle, line up, find their radius, and have a look underneath to find the long tendon of our biceps coming in through here. This doesn't give us a good view of the insertion, doesn't we cannot see the enthesis but we see a lovely view of the musculotendinous junction. This is very, very nice for musculotendinous junction tears, and it's lovely for post-surgical repair to see if it's still congruent. We can assess this by supinating and pronating the forearm. It puts it on tone, it reels it around in through here. Your bicep should roll up and around as you supinate and pronate. Lovely for assessing post-surgical and nice to see our musculotendinous junction tears. Again, you can identify single head injuries. If you bring your probe more towards the patient's hand, you're in long head. If you're back towards the elbow, you're more in short head. And you can identify single head injuries. Finally, we have our posterior view or our cobra view of our biceps. This is nice for interventional work. We get the patient's arm, elbow bent up, a bit over 90 degrees, and hand fully supinated. We shoot through the muscle belly of supinator. We find our supinator, come down, grab our radius and our ulna, fully supinate the hand, supinate the forearm, and our insertion of our biceps comes into view. Most of the insertion that we're seeing is primarily long head. We appreciate some of short head, but mostly long head. This doesn't give us anywhere near as much information of what's going on, but is very nice for interventional work, for driving a needle down in through here. As we fan through, we fan up and down, and to some degree we can differentiate the heads, but it's nowhere near as nice. It's slightly underwhelming, but you can see in thesis-based pathology. I hope this explanation has helped. I hope this, you can add these scan techniques to your assessment and identify single head injuries of the biceps brachii tendon. If you like this video, feel free to give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Or hit us up at our website, mskaustralia.com.au. Thank you.